EA Sports. It's in the game. We're live at Tiger Stadium, also known as Death Valley, here in Baton Rouge. Pretty nice day for this game between the LSU Tigers and the Auburn Tigers. Hi, everybody. This is Brad Nessler. With me, as always, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. And we're set to bring you another great matchup in the world of NCAA football. This defense has some talent across the board, but the player to watch will be sitting on the end of this front four. Let me say this. He'll get your attention. I just don't think these offensive tackles are good enough to keep this guy in check for four quarters. I don't think so either, Kirk. You can't stop him. You just have to hope that your lineman can hold him up long enough for the quarterback to get the ball off. Because if you don't, oh man, it's going to be a long day for this quarterback. All right, well, we're ready for the coin toss. Brought to you today by Coke Zero. We're ready to get this one underway as the teams have lined up for the opening kick. And this game is now underway. Fielded at the nine. He makes it to the 32-yard line. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out onto the field for the first time today. They'll go to work at the 32-yard line. First and ten. They're in the shotgun with three wide receivers. Man can't tack on any yardage. That's a nice six-yard game. Yep, it was a great job of getting away from the pressure, and they ended up getting six yards on the play. They line up in a double tight set. Throw to the tight end and in and out of his hands. I'd run the ball here. Just pick up the first down, move the sticks, and continue to move the football. Offset eye formation in the backfield. Little handoff. They got to him, and he did not get the first down. Someone down there just a little bit slow to get up. It's fourth down. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Gets this one away. Signals for a fair catch. This is one of my favorite plays in the playbook. The defense lines up with six DBs. Back to pass. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Not much there on the screenplay. This was just a little dump off pass to the halfback, but it was very well defended, keeping them from moving the ball very far downfield. They line up in the shotgun. They'll run the option. Pitches it, he's got the corner. They'll bring him down at the 26 yard line. 
About eight yards there. AARP says go with this play. The defense comes out with five defensive backs this time. Third and short, and they'll throw for it. Complete tackle made around the 34-yard line. That one worked pretty well. It's a good job here by the wide receiver to get open. He created good separation from the defense. First and 10. Ball in 34. They line this one up in the shotgun. Four wide receivers put out in the formation. It's the tailback. Whoa, he just took a lick. That'll be a two-yard gain. The blitz was pretty effective on that play, though. Yep, they plugged up the holes well, so the back was not able to go very far. They'll work from the shotgun. He drops back. Flags are down, and this one might be on the offense. The cornerback came out of nowhere. Where's the hot read? You gotta have a hot read when the corner is coming on a blitz. Coach, I don't even think the quarterback knew he was blitzing. It's amazing how fast the sophomore got in there to make that play. Boy, this kid can run. Throws complete, he's got space to work. Trying to sidestep by there, but a good tackle on the play. I'll tell you, this receiver showed really good hands on that play. This kid is always calling for the ball. And if he keeps making plays like that, he'll continue to get the ball. They're in the shotgun with three wide receivers. They go with the run. And he's stopped behind the line. No gain. Good pressure from the defense. They brought the heat. Wasn't much room for the running back to work with. And this play is number eight on the drive. Second down. The defense sets up in the nickel. Gets it out to him again. He tries to juke, but they bring him down. Impressive completion there, guys. If this quarterback keeps throwing the football like this all the way to the end zone, he might earn himself a really, really good yoke. And again, it's the wide receiver who's making a play. He's definitely been a favorite target for this quarterback. Well, they tried to keep it on the ground for the first down. You know, Brad, here the defense just steps up and makes a play, stopping them and bringing up fourth down. Fourth down. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. He gets it off. That turned out to be a nice little punt there. It was just a little pooch kick, but it was very effective. I give this kid a lot of credit. Most punters have trouble with short punts. This kid was right on the money. They line up in a double tight set. Here we go. Huh. A good tackle there in space. Let's see if this coaching staff sticks with the short passing game or if they decide to open it up a bit more. Backfields in an offset eye formation. Back to throw. Here comes the pressure. Caught. Tackle right around the 36 yard line. If this receiver wants to make it to the next level, those are the types of plays he'll have to make. Absolutely. They love pass catchers that look the ball all the way into their hands and then tuck it away safely. He drops back. Gets it to his wide receiver, and he's got another one. A decent gain on the pass. Yo, Kirk, good job by the quarterback here reading this play. Yeah, the defense came with a blitz, and you're right. Great job by this young quarterback of recognizing the coverage and spotting the open man. Takes it right and brought down right away. And the tailback's going nowhere on that counter. It's second and nine. Ball in the 49. They come out in the pistol. Pass out to the tight end, but it's incomplete. I like this play right here, and I'm telling you why. 
It's a long yardage situation, and this pass play allows your players the ability to convert the first down. The defense lines up with five defensive backs. Looking to throw. They'll make the sack. That's just not a good play by the quarterback here. He's got to have a better pocket presence. Yep, he looked like he was having trouble finding someone to throw to. And that's the end of the quarter. We're scoreless after one. At the end of the first quarter, the score is tied. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. Hunts it away. Gets a block on the corner. And he's tackled at the 46-yard line. And he got good yardage on that one. Yep, but that last guy didn't make the tackle. <laughs> we'll be talking about six points right now. One thing about this guy is how fluid of a runner. He's such a talent. We'll see if they can capitalize on the good field position. They line up in the shotgun. Gets it and immediately hammered. And they pick up two yards. It's a good run blitz by the outside linebacker there. They shut down all the holes and kept this halfback from gaining many yards. Two tight ends set. Complete. He's tackled in the open field. This receiver showed soft hands and hung on for the first down. And if I'm not mistaken, the defense sent their corner on a blitz. If he doesn't get to the quarterback, the numbers are in favor of the offense, just like we saw. They go with a run, and he hits him hard at the 33-yard line. It looks like they picked up a yard or a little less. And that was an excellent tackle. He used perfect form to bring the ball carrier down. There are four wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Looking to throw. Not to the tailback, and he dropped it. Dangerous, dangerous throw there. Give credit to the defense. They did a good job out there. This quarterback thought his man would be open, and boy, he was wrong. Man in motion. Gets it out to the halfback. That's a loss of about three. They'll call on the field goal unit. This one from 53 yards out. This will make it a field goal game. He gets it up, and it's long enough. No good. He missed it to the right. Well, they tried for three, but they came up empty-handed. Still, our score, Auburn, nothing, LSU. Nothing. High formation here. He drops back. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's tackled. Right around the 34-yard line. Eight yards on the pickup. Second and two. Ball on the 44. They line it up with three receivers. Looking to pass. He's got it with room to run. And he's tackled at about the 39-yard line. Good job to avoid the rush and get the pass on. Well, when you're trying to get to the quarterback with the blitz, you better have some talented corners because they could end up on an island out there all alone. Looks to throw. Here comes the pressure. Throws a laser across the middle. Whoa! The coach ain't gonna like that completion. Not at all. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. There are three wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. They'll give it off here. Tackle at the 23-yard line. And he reeled off a big one there. This offensive line is built to allow this tailback to make plays, as you just saw. He's able to get into the open and create some excitement right there. Off the right side, doesn't get much. Good tackle. And the halfback's got nowhere to go. The quarterback caused them to run out of room. 
Excellent play by him to keep it from going outside. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 23-yard line. High formation here. Back to pass. There's a strike complete. He's down. I like what they're doing here. Short completions are the cornerstone of an effective passing game. They find themselves in the red zone for the first time today. Big play, and it's first and goal. How about that? If you're going to blitz both cornerbacks, they better get to the quarterback. That's too easy of a read, and that's why we're looking at a first down. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. The halfback with a carry. He really plowed his way into the end zone there. Great looking touchdown. Once you get inside the 10 yard line, this halfback is automatic. And he adds the extra point. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. LSU is lining up to kick this one off. Kicks it off. They'll bring him down at the 40. And now we'll see the offense come out onto the field for their next possession. They'll set up shop at the 40-yard line. First and 10. They line this one up in the shotgun. Four wide receivers split out in the formation. Got a man. Watch out here. And down he goes around the 48-yard line. The defense brought the outside linebacker, but the quarterback hung in there and delivered a great pass for the first down. There are four wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He's gobbled up in the backfield. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. An experienced coach would want to run this play. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 49. They line this one up in the shotgun. Four wide receivers split out in the formation. Back to pass. And it's knocked away. He's asking to get picked off. That was a close one, all right. If no one's open, there's nothing wrong with tucking it in and trying to pick up the first on the ground. Listen to this place. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. I talked to this receiver early in the week, and he comes up to me and says, Yo, Coach, you're going to be calling my number this week. I'm going to make some big plays. Well, he wasn't lying. That was definitely a big-time play. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Flares it and it almost had it intercepted. That's just a great defensive play. It won't look like much in the stat book, but that's getting the job done. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 32-yard line. They line it up with three receivers. And they motion a guy to the right. They go with the run. And they hit him in the backfield. He had every last pound of that big frame heading toward the ball carrier. Yeah, it can't feel too good taking hits from that guy. He's as big as you and me combined, Kirk. And faster, too. It started with a student section. Now this whole place is going crazy. Back to pass. Complete, and he's brought down. It's going to be fourth and inches after that long pickup on third down. Well, what a throw by the quarterback. Almost equally excellent catch by the receiver, but the defense topped them both by coming up with a stop. Great hold by the defense to bring up fourth short. Couldn't juke the defender, and he's brought down 
So with that run, they pick up another first. Just a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. The offense calls a timeout. Quits the uprights. He didn't make it by much, but it counts. That one looked wide from here. I don't know how he was able to sneak that one through the uprights. Me either. That certainly wasn't the best kick of his career, but it did do the job. Like Brad said, it counts. It's halftime, and we've got a close one. Our score here in Death Valley, LSU 7, Auburn 3.